<laughs> Popping tags. I'm gonna pop some tags. Only got twenty dollars in my pocket. Sorry. All right. So, what's up, everybody, guys and gals? So, if you guys wanted to actually see a review, then here it is. That's if you guys want to or not. But I'm doing it anyway, just because. Who knows? Maybe somebody wants to see this. Even though FNAF, it's kind of like, it's kind of there, you know, it's among the living, I suppose. But, you know, the FNAF fandom is a uh, kind of downhill, right? And yes, <laughs> this is my voice, by the way. I sound funny. No, no, I don't. I sound boring as fudge. Let's go outside real quick. It's nighttime outside and I'm on survival. Don't worry, there are no mobs. Kimbo Uno. Let's fly over here. Let's look at this thing. I'm gonna try and do this quickly. The review, that is. Alright, so. Here you have it. This is a, um. What is this? <laughs> no. This is the Freddy Fazbear's Pizza 1987 restaurant. Now, this thing. It's different. Maybe many of you have seen the restaurants, you know, in Minecraft, and you probably most likely don't not you you most likely do not see a second floor. Probably not. Maybe you have. Maybe somebody made a freaking mansion where where they have all four FNAF areas all together. Yep, there it is. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, 1987. Concept map, yes, concept apparently. Now, the reason why it has concept there is because I decided to add in a few things uh, that are not featured in the game. I'll explain while I go on through everything. But anyway, um, now for the stage here, yes, this is where they stand the uh, so called animatronics. But I usually just call them tronics for short. I know I don't usually mention that on DA, but just saying the word animatronics is just so long. So I always go with the word tronics. And here is a painting now. One for decoration and two for this. Everybody knows that old trick. Minecraft old school trick right there. Go through the painting and there's a door. Uh, yeah, so here, th here we have apparently this is a Toy Freddy's room. Uh, I have this weird concept or just way of thinking that oh wait, wait, what if these guys have their own freaking rooms and such They're over here kitchen area and you have a working fridge apparently it actually works yes with fish because you know toy freddy man <laughs> you know it bro my skin is not fitted with fnaf i don't have a fnaf related skin on me i do but it's not that i forgot you know it's because you know it's 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 riddle baby that was a uh, toy freddy's room by the way it has it has a study a big old tv um price count uh, blah, blah, blah. price corner sorry here you have the you already know what this is this is where le puppet sits sometimes it'll screw up oh well, he's doing it sometimes it'll do that peekaboo thing and sometimes it'll just sit here but yeah kit's cove by the way those are supposed to be the gift boxes it's supposed to be maggie's room Yes, that's the mango, by the way, in FNAF. Apparently, her name is Maggie, thanks to a certain someone, a certain friend, who came up with the idea. And yes, she has a love for cake, of course. Uh, not much, though. Um, and, and portal frames. You're probably wondering why are they all over the place. They, you will see more of these. Uh, I really couldn't find anything that represents a trash can. And, well, this is the best I could find freaking end portal frame this is the 1.9 update so you may notice the doors the, the way the doors sound they sound different for some reason i'm pretty sure they didn't sound like that before they sound heavy these actually work these are just these are just tweaks extra things you know, let's go to the kitchen yeah kitchen uh not much here giant stove some small pumpkins um sinks yeah everything a kitchen needs employees only uh, now this is actually a uh, an extra thing this is something that is not in the game it's not featured in the game at all it's the employee lounge because why not you know it's 
kids restaurant you know em human employees and i said human yes uh are just gonna go insane if they don't have breaks <laughs> right so here we have camera i don't know if this looks familiar to you guys if you ever played fnaf 2 merry-go-round thingy balloons balloon boy is supposed to be here but yeah now here this is actually the most popular thing or the most important thing yet i mean come on let me let me turn on let me take off the gui come on guys you guys know what this is Ooh, yes it's the freaking hallway why is this so damn important sega oh well it's important because <laughs> when the fnaf 2 game was being worked on by uh, Les scott coughlin it was like this this is all you saw when there was leaked images of the game while it was being worked on you know when the, the time when it was getting there here you will find toilet paper and missing toilet paper and uh you also find some sinks with diamond mirrors and i don't have to explain what those are come on i mean men's room dude <laughs> <Bruh>. <laughs> Here we have a dropper that drops paper because, you know, you gotta have your hands dry and, you know, personal hygiene. Parts and service, of course. And here we go. We have party rooms one, two, three, and four. Hey, yes, I even added the wet floor and it's, uh, this is packed ice, so it doesn't, it doesn't melt to water, so don't worry if you are worried. I'll start saying, dude, ice melts, man. Not packed ice, though. Did it change it? Oh, it's daytime outside. How do I know it's daytime? Well, because you have that and you have these torches lit on. But yes, this is the office. This is where the night guard, night watch, security guard sits here and uh, tries to survive. Uh, left air vent works. Right air vent works. And the flashlight. Yeah, it works too. Now, it's a little bright here, of course. But if I were to set this to nighttime, it's completely dark. Boom. Those go off. And um, now you can actually use the flashlight. It's now kind of more useful. This, you already know what this is supposed to be. <laughs> right? This is supposed to represent the Freddy Fazbear's head. Uh, ignore that if you guys heard that sound. It's just the computer doing stuff in the background. Oh, what did I type in? <laughs> Game though. <laughs> what oh uh they changed that a lot 1.9 1. 1. baby 1.9 i don't know <laughs> let's go upstairs and finish this this is a game room because i just decided to add it and i thought about it one time you know let's make this restaurant pretty big let's give it a second floor why not because it's my concept this is the area where it's not fnaf 2 anymore it's just extra stuff now it's just extra rooms uh toy bonnie's room go in here real quick computer Yes, why is there a computer? Even though it's the it's the eighties man. You know, computer in the eighties, I'm I'm pretty sure. I mean there was the DOS. The DOS, DOS, that thing. Oh god, I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> um but laptops and stuff like that. i for some reason have a weird idea thinking that, you know what, what if uh can I get rid of this? The little swigglies swiggles. I'm drunk. Let me get rid of that. Can I get rid of that with this? Yes, thank you. Anyway, I believe for some reason that I don't I know this isn't true, but for some reason, uh, AU reasons, alternate alternate universe reasons. Don't just ignore what I said right there. <laughs> because of that, uh, I find the restaurant to be somewhere particularly, yes, in the 80s. But what if the restaurant were to eventually end up being in the time frame that we're in now, which is, of course, 2016 could be 2014 2015 whenever that iphone 5 was made whatever another working fridge yes this is the uh animatronic lounge because animatronic as well uh, tronics i mean because you don't want them overheating and going you know like just dead no they're not gonna die but <clears throat> servo motors i haven't said that word in a long time this here is the uh is you can you can picture this to be anything you want the uh, managers room boss's room owner's room whoever owns this damn place because I always man uh, imagine that somebody owns this place and have a freaking office like this this is where they enter <clears throat> sorry on my throat help me <laughs> I seen the things you've done sir we're gonna have a little chat 
Anyway, boring hallway, the most boring hallway. That hallway has nothing. It is it's the most boringest hallway in the entire map. I also have it for Pocket Edition as well. Uh, yeah, just more arcade machines up here. Yes, I said I also have this map uh, for Pocket Edition. Did I show you guys that? I don't know if you guys heard that. But that's actually an important thing that I forgot to mention. All right. Ooh, sneak peek. <laughs> yeah, of course. And let's say I put it to daytime, AKA 6 AM. So that was that was supposedly the 6 AM doorbell thingy you hear in the game. And uh, all that happens right here. So each of these are note blocks and they're all played in different numbers codes whatever you want to call it uh, i'm gonna do it again but with more volume in the game i have the volume very low let's put this data 40 whatever put it on blast man time set fifteen thousand. i put it on fifteen thousand because that's daylight sensor reasons there's a daylight sensor up there that triggers all this and it also triggers the torches as well right here i won't explain much about the redstone it'll take up too much time so Let's go to daytime, yeah? And as you can see. Yeah, so that's how that works. Okay, I'm going everywhere. What the hell? Alright, so now that's pretty much everything for this map. Ignore that over there, by the way. If you guys do think I should put a download link for this and you guys want to check out the map yourself instead. See more things that I did not show in the video. But yeah, I'm taking too much I'm taking up too much time, so yeah, take care.